Hey guys, I'm Reshma. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create websites with WordPress. In my last two videos, I discussed on how you can uh, install WAMP server on your computer and how you can run and install WordPress with WAMP server. So here today I'll show you how you can install a theme and also I'll explain the theme option panel. In order to do that, what you need is you need to log into your WordPress dashboard and then come down to appearance. As you can see here, we have got some default WordPress themes, uh, 2014, 2013 and 2012. The currently active theme is 2014. You can see the active status here. Okay. If you want to change the theme, you can hover over any of the themes and click on activate. But I don't want this default WordPress themes to run my website. You know, I want something different, something which is more attractive and appealing. So for that, what I will do is uh, either I can add new theme from here. Okay. Or I can search for already installed themes on my WordPress. But here I have not got any themes. So what I will do is I'll click on add new. Now here, as you can see, if you're already familiar with some of the themes, uh, you can type in the keyword here and search for themes. Okay. And if you have already got the theme on your desktop, you can simply go to upload and install the theme. So I've already got the theme with me. So what I'll do is I'll go to upload and choose file. Uh, let me see where is my theme. Here it is and click on open. Now install. Unpacking the package, installing and okay, my theme is installed successfully. Now what you can do is you can either go for a live preview or if you want to activate, you can click on activate and if you want to return to themes pages, you can do from here. Now I want to activate, so click on activate. All right. <clears throat> here it is. My Andrina WordPress theme is activated. You can see the active status here. Okay. Now let's see how our website is looking. I mean, for the first time, how your website looks. Okay. So this is how the website looks. Mm -hmm. Website is looking good. Huh? The theme is nice. Now mm, I'll take you to the dashboard again. And then first I'll explain you the theme option panel. Okay. Now come to appearance and then go to theme options andrina responsive theme pro option andrina is the name of the theme that i have installed now what i want to tell you is uh, every theme have got their own theme option panel and this is a theme option panel for the andrina theme which i have installed so um, with theme option panel what you can do is you can make a uh, some changes in the settings like you have got this general slider home page social icon styling options and everything over here so we'll start with general settings under general settings you have got custom logo you can upload a logo for your website custom favicon you can upload a favicon uh, the size is specified here okay. And if you want to change the background image, you can upload an image here and change the background. Also, you have got an option to get your tracking code and you can paste it here to view the statistics of your website. And then you have got front page on or off. Front page on or off means um, if you'll put it on, you will view the home page when you visit your website. If you'll put it off, you will view the other page, you know, apart from the home page, whatever page you have got on your website you will view that your home page will go inactive so this is basically what front page on or off does so now moving up we will upload an image for our website mm, where is the image for my website oops here uh, as i told you i am so much into coffee so i'll make a coffee shop website so i've got this image and the same image I will upload for favicon as well. Now here I don't want to change the background image neither do I need to track my statistics so what I'll do is I'll save all changes. Okay my options are updated now I'll visit my website and whoa you know you see my logo has been uploaded here i've also got a favicon up there 
and these are the changes you can bring in if you want to change the background you can also do that now getting back to dashboard again theme option panel slider settings let me tell you what is the slider here as you can see uh, this image this is the slider image okay and this is the theme heading along with it so if you want to make any kind of modifications to this image or you want to upload some of your business images so you can do that from here so i'll show you an example i don't want to change the image i just want to change the heading for it so i'll write something like coffee shop okay and then i'll come down they have got six slider image uploading option as you can upload up to six images so that's why they have got six options here and now i'll save all changes now i'll go back to my site and refresh and see you can see the changes here it's written coffee shop now so these are the small small changes that you can bring into your website with these settings okay now getting back again now home page setting home page main heading you can uh, mention the heading of your website um, or you can write something about your business services here which will be displayed under this slider right here and also you have got this feature area which i'll show you in the website let me show you okay this is the feature area you have got these four feature images and the description related to it so if you want to make any changes here you can upload your own business images and write some description about them and here down when you come you have got feature descriptions and again you have got this home page two columns when you come down here you you can see these two columns here one side you have got the blog and the other side you have got some recent work so again you can edit this portion as well and then what they have got next is the contact area uh, this is the contact area so if you want to edit this and put on your information and contact um, information you can do it from here you can write your contact number email address and working time and when you'll update it it will be displayed here now moving back to settings social icons um, I guess everybody have got social networking uh, accounts I guess so if you want to um, showcase your social icons on your website and you want to uh, link them to your website you can do that by uploading your um, Facebook URL you know Twitter URL RSS feed URL if you have got a YouTube account you can mention the URL here and it will be updated on your website then we have got the styling options mm, all right this theme come with wow so many colors so here i have already chosen black so if you want blue or grass and orange and purple and everything so you can select one among them and here you have got the theme language which means that theme content will display from left to right and if you want to change it from right to left you can do that also from here i guess you have got it on the drop down yes exactly and if you are good at css and you want to you know play with your website and make some kind of modifications with your own css you can do that over here now i'm not going to show you how is this all gonna work you know i'm just going to make it so short and then you've got the seo options here now here what you can do is obviously you want your website to show up on google on the top list and everything everybody wants to see so here what you can do is um, you can provide some keywords uh, related to your website contents and you can mention them here. and also um, here you can use some meta descriptions to provide search engines with additional information about the topic of your, of your website and here you can write the full name of the author then coming to footer settings okay footer text i'll show you here this is the footer text okay this is the default footer text that comes with the theme so if you want to make any changes uh, you can write your footer text here and you can save all changes and here it will be changed mm, let me show you My coffee shop. i'm so much into coffee shop today <laughs> save all changes when you refresh and come down you'll see my coffee shop so this is the footer text area so this is the theme option panel that comes along with the theme every theme i've got their own theme option panels and you know these settings uh, will not remain the same in case of every theme uh, it depends on the design of the theme 
so get a theme today install it uh, play around with the settings over here and you know literally you'll be enjoying when you'll be finding some small small changes on your website and you'll feel that oh my god i did it so that kind of feeling is very good in my next video i'll be showing you how you can create pages how you can create a post and then how you can make a gallery and make a contact us page so that i'll be showing up in the next video so get yourself a theme today uh, go with this tutorial try bringing in the changes and enjoy <laughs> thanks so much for watching